Welcome to another Matia Valley Calculus tutorial. Uh, today we'll be talking about shortcuts with solving derivatives of a function. So to find the derivative of a function or an equation, you can plug it into the limit definition. However, sometimes as the functions become more complex, the derivative or the process of finding it through the limit definition also becomes more tedious. So mathematicians have created uh, rules or shortcuts to aid in that process. The first thing that we'll cover is the power rule, uh, where you have the format of x to the n. Uh, the derivative of that turns in, out to be n times x to the n minus 1. So let's have the example y equals 4x cubed minus 5x squared plus 3x plus 5. Uh, the derivative of this, using the power rule, uh, would be 4 times the exponent as we bring it down, x to the 3 minus 1, so that becomes 2, minus 5 times the derivative as it comes down again, x to the 2 minus 1, which is 1, and then plus 3, the exponent is 1, so it would just be 3 times 1, uh, still 3, and x to the first minus 1 would be x to the 0, which would be 1, so the, there is no more x. And the constant disappears as we take the derivative. So if we simplify this again, it would turn out to have 12x squared minus 10x plus 3. And much easier than doing the limit definition, we've already found the derivative to this long polynomial using the power rule. Next up, we have the product rule. And what that says is the derivative of uh, function u times v equals to the original u times the derivative of v dx plus the, uh, the function v times du dx. So an example of that would be uh, y equals x cubed natural log x, where x cubed is u and natural log x is v. The derivative would then be the first u x cubed times the derivative of v, which is 1 over x, plus the, uh, the original v, natural log x, times the derivative of u. So, using power rule again, you take the 3 down, subtract 1 from the exponent, and you get 3x squared. If you simplify this, you end up getting x squared plus 3x squared natural log x. Next up, we have the quotient rule, which is used when you, have, when you need to find the derivative of g of x over h of x. And this is kind of complicated. Uh, the derivative of this equals to the derivative of the upper function times the lower function minus the, the, the upper function times the derivative of the lower function. And this is all divided by the lower function squared. So an example of this would be uh, if y were to equal x squared over 3x minus 1, where this is, would be g of x and this is h of x. So dy dx in this case would be uh, 2x, which is the derivative of the top, times the lower, which is 3x minus 1, and then subtracted by x squared, which is just the original top, times the derivative of h of x to the bottom, which uh, using power rule again, we find that it's uh, just 3. And then all over the denominator squared, so 3x minus 1 squared. And simplifying this, we'd get 3x squared minus 2x over 9x squared minus 6x plus 1. And just like that, we found the derivative of uh, x squared over 3x minus 1 using the quotient rule. Uh, last but not least, we have the chain rule. And this is where you sort of find uh, a function embedded within another. Uh, and the derivative of this would be 
the derivative of the outer function, uh, where the inner part remains the same, and then multiply it by the derivative of the inner. So to show an example uh, would be y equals to sine of x squared minus 1, where this would be sine of is the, in, the outer, and the inner would be x squared minus 1. So the derivative, using again the chain rule, would be the derivative of the outside, so the derivative of sine is cosine, and the inner stays the same, so it's still x squared minus 1, multiplied by the derivative of the inside. So the derivative of x squared minus 1, using the chain rule again, is 2x. And this we use the chain rule, and just like that, we found the derivative of this, uh, which would have been very complicated using the limit definition. Uh, 